Hey, hi, this is Sandeep, and <clears throat> in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to make a sample, how to make uh, task flow templates and make use of them. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, here, I have created a sample template, it's a task flow template, and it's very easy to create. You just go ahead and create new and then say that I want to create this ADF task flow template and click OK okay here you can give the name and you can select create with page fragments if you want uh, the task flow the or concrete task flows which are based on this particular task flow template to be used as regions okay otherwise I don't want to use them as regions, so uh, I, de uh, I deselected them so that's how you can create and I've already created that and it's a simple uh, called a sample template and it's very easy to see here you have got uh, home 1 and home 2 page and on home 1 page the this is a simple button which navigates you towards the home 2 okay and on home 2 also there is a button move forward okay this is an it generates an action called as move forward but there is no forward action here okay so suppose uh, in your application you have got some task flows uh, which have to be used across the applications and uh, they have to be widely used across your applications so you can make the use of the templates for example you can define what all uh, what all reusable task flows are there as a template and then make use of them uh, in your application at other places okay so actually there are two ways in which this can be done for example if you want to uh, for example here I have defined this simple navigation this can be pretty much complex involving many activities and all okay now you want to make use of all these stuffs in your application so there are two ways to do it one is by reference and the other one is by copy okay so we'll go ahead and study a by copy first and then we will see what is by reference okay so <clears throat> here this is the thing and I want to make use of it as um, let's by copy first okay so I will have to first create a task flow go to new and I want to create ADF task flow and I will say uh, that it is my bounded task flow by sorry by copy okay and uh, create as bounded task flow that's fine task flow ID I don't want create with page fragments and I want to base it on a template and the drop down your sample template will already be appearing so you can select that okay now this button update the task flow when the template changes if you tick this it will be by reference okay if you uncheck this it will be by copy and we want to study by copy so we'll untick it okay okay and ID BTA by copy contains one more than they are not valid okay fine I think it had spaces that's why it's complaining like this so now see our concrete task flow has been created which is based on the template now here it's reporting this ID change you can simply go to the source and see that these two IDs 4 and 5 basically are uh, duplicated on the same document so you can change them you can make different numbers out of them and they will be fixed okay so now it is fixed so as you can see all that was on the template has come over here okay so now it's that is called as my uh, by copy okay it has copied each and everything what was existing over here to our concrete task flow now you can do and apply all other activities here and there across uh, this region across this particular com components and around or surround these particular components and you can do whatever you want uh, the main thing to remember is that if you try to modify these pages see these pages have already been defined here if you try to double click and go inside them and modify anything inside them then the changes will be reflected uh, in the concrete home page and that is to say in here also uh, the changes will be reflected that is to say once we have created this page over here you make the change over here or you make the change over here okay these two pages basically are the same thing and they will reflect the changes everywhere uh, wherever they appear okay so this is one concept and the other is see we have created by copy so it has copied all of the contents all of the present contents right now over here okay so if you want you can add another uh, activities also in the sample template and 
but this template this concrete uh, task flow won't inherit or won't copy the extra added one okay it copies only those contents which are at present at the time of the creation of this task flow so if you go ahead and uh, add all other activities and at later point of time you create another concrete bounded task flow then that would have all other stuffs also with it okay that, that is to say when you're creating bounded task flow it it carries out the copy of the present template okay so it has carried out the copy of the present template I'm not gonna make any changes and another time create another bounded task flow to show you I just gave you a hint uh, that it happens like this so now what I can do I can add my activities over here in this bounded task flow okay and uh, let's see uh, if you want you can add but uh, let's see for example we can add here okay and we can say it success page it says it is already there do you want to overwrite it I'll say yes I already created it when I was studying something else so I don't want to bother I'll create with the same name so it will go ahead and create here and I will simply say here that this is success page so that the user can know at the run time that where he or she has arrived okay control focus success uh oh no 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 we don't want to write that right uh, if you remember in the home 2 we had this button over here right which was already creating an action and that was called as move forward action so we'll copy this and we will put here move forward okay so what will happen the button over here will generate this action and this will navigate to the success page so as you can see um, our task flow you can add other components also if you want to but uh, this is fine for me and I have created uh, this PTF by copy task flow and uh, it is fine uh, you can create a task flow return also over here and just give it like this okay return and on the success page you can have a button which returns it from the drop down return okay so this is how our task flow looks like these two have been copied from the template and this have been added additionally okay and this is the default activity so this is ready now I go to uh, unmounted task flow since I cannot call this task flow independently I have to call this from some unmounted task flow so this is my unmounted task flow and here I have a page start page okay so I will uh, drag this task flow over here so that I can navigate from this page towards this task flow, bounded task flow. Okay, so BTF by copy. Here is our task flow, and you can drag it over here. It appears just fine. Now, control flow case. You can write go to bounded task flow by copy. Okay and on this page there is a button this is the button over here this is the button and for this you can put the action as go to BTA by copy okay so what will happen uh, with this button you can navigate through this task flow which I, we have created which we just created out of sample template okay just run it in debug mode so our application is up this is our starting page call bounded task flow based on template you click on that uh, click on this uh, we are right now we entered inside bounded task flow which uh, is based on the template this is home one go to home two we click on that now we are in home two and it says move forward 
and if I click on move forward it's a success page that we have arrived and then there is a return which takes me out of the ta bounded task flow okay so it works just fine now we're gonna see uh, this is how by copy works now we're gonna see how uh, by reference would work okay so uh, probably I'll delete these stuffs over here okay uh, this is our bounded uh, task flow by copy okay uh, we are not gonna touch this anyway we're gonna create a new one so this is our sample template and uh, success page okay fine okay so we'll create a new one okay so what I will say I will say new bounded task flow and First of all, let me check everything is fine over here. Yeah, everything looks to be fine. Uh, now I'll say bounded task flow by reference. Okay, and create as bounded. Uh, don't create with base fragments based on this template. And now we're not check this update the task flow when the template changes. Okay, because this is by reference. So this has created over this by reference. Don't get confused because it has not copied everything over. It is gonna use this task flow as a reference. Okay, not by copy. That's why it has not copied anything over here. Now, uh, what you can do uh, in this task flow, you can add your activities, and in by reference you can use this. Okay, uh, so you can say, let's say you have one activity over here. Uh, let's say you are on road. Okay, and now. Uh, generate this page overwrite it that's fine I already created it seems I will say this is road page and then uh, I will create a button and probably this button will take me uh, to the bounded uh, this button will take me to these pages home 1 and home 2 okay but these lie in the sample sample template so let's see how we can do it here I will write uh, go to home 1 okay and uh, probably I will generate the same action over here go to home one okay so as you now know that we are inside this our bounded task flow and from here we generate an action called as go to home one okay so but go to home one how it will take us towards here so what we can do we can have wildcard over here and a control flow case which comes like this and I will say go to home one okay so now what will happen you generate an action over here which says go to home one and here in the sample task flow it will follow this control flow course the control flow case because here uh, it's a while called entry so from any activity if you generate an action it will go to home one okay so that's how it's gonna be and on the home two, you know that you are generating an action which is called as move forward right so I will just copy that because we need to exit on this move forward action we need to exit out of the sample template this move forward okay so just remember that here action move forward is getting generated so we will use this action in order to exit from here and come over here okay so we can generate one more page it will be a success page success page you are back to bounded task flow by reference okay so we're gonna show this success page only uh, when you have returned when you have gone through this navigation and return over here so again we will do this wildcard and control flow case 
and we will say move forward okay so what will happen basically here you are generating a, generating an action which is called as go to home one and here it will be picked up so you will arrive in the sample template navigation and through here you are generating an action which is called as uh, move forward and move forward will be captured over here okay so we are using this template as reference okay uh, in here okay so this is how it looks like and on the success page probably probably you can have a task flow written also here again a control flow case you can say return that's it so what will happen this success page you will be able to return from wherever you came on the success page you can have a button button called as return and action is written okay so we are already all set now uh, as you know this is also a bounded task flow we cannot call it independently we have to call it from some so here we were copying uh, here we used uh, here uh, from the start page uh, we were actually with this action uh, we were calling this bounded task flow by copy but now we're gonna call we will delete this and bounded task flow by reference so let's see where is it bounded task flow by reference save all before dragging it bounded task flow by reference okay so it has come over here and use the control flow case say go to bounded task flow by reference okay and on the start page through this button I will choose this go to by term. go to uh, BTF by reference okay so what has actually happened from the start page we will be navigating to our concrete bounded task flow which is based on the sample template and I've already explained that how in this bounded task flow you will arrive on this default activity road and I will generate from here I will generate an action called as go to home fun which will be picked up over here and will navigate through over here at the end we will generate an action called as move forward on the click of a button on the home to page and that go to uh, and that move forward will be picked up over here again back in our bounded task flow and will show up the success page and then return so let's save this and go ahead and just run it and see how it works so our application is up and it says call btf based on template on clicking this button we will enter our bounded task flow which is based on a sample template click on this now we are on the road page it says go to home one so we are basically at this point and it says go to home one as we click on this go to home one action will be generated and that should be picked up here and we should go ahead to home one click on this and yeah we arrived at home one so right now we are over here home one and from here to here we'll go to home two okay and now we are on home two from here we know that move forward action would be generated and which should again be picked up in our concrete btf by reference task flow and we should arrive at the success page so click on this yeah we arrived on the success page you are back to btf by reference and if you click on return you will be out of our concrete btf and uh, you will arrive on the starting page so this is how uh, page templates work and i hope i was able to explain you well i'll see you in the next tutorial